Hello everyone, you are in Endurance Laser Lab. In this video, I want to present you an Endurance new laser lens system. As you know, most powerful diodes have a problem of fast and slow access. So if you use and if you try to beam the laser without a focal lens, you probably get a rectangle, something like this. And this is fast axis, this is slow axis. The problem is that if you use a lens, you still get a rectangle, but uh, very tiny. So for three element lens, uh, we get a rectangle with a size of 85 microns on 130 microns. And for G2 lens, uh, let me show it closer. For uh, G2, you get uh, also rectangle, but with uh, sizes of 65 microns on 130 microns. So the diagonal here is 140, and here is something like 1, 155 microns. So that's why most of you have this average laser beam spot is something like 0 0.15 uh, microns. So that's, that's what you usually get when you use standard 3-element lens or G2 lens. Here we want to show you how we solve this problem. It was not easy, but uh, you need a semi-cylindrical lens like this, so that you can decrease the size of fast axis and get it something like to a square, something like this. I previously showed you our experiments that we made, but now an entire system is working. Let me show it to you really quick. Okay. So we're going to use a regular three element lens and Gito lens. Okay, so this is our new laser lens system, and uh, let me show it to you um, in all details. So, semi cylindrical lens is inserted here, and I'll show it to you a bit later. And here is a dark acrylic where we're going to show you uh, their focus, and so you'll find out and you'll see that. We have very, very tiny, tiny spot. Okay, let me turn on the laser. We use uh, in Arduino mode. So, if you make it closer, okay, something like this. Um, let me also put like this. So you see that now it looks like a rectangle, almost like uh, like a square. Sorry, not a rectangle, but a square. So let me add green filter on my camera. Okay, now I need to increase ISO something to 2000. Okay, now you see without just a clean, clean image. Okay, so if we move it closer, so you see that it remains a, a square, almost a square. Now we're going to add three element lens. And now you can see that the image is more like a square that is decreasing. So here, in this position, we can say that we are in perfect focus. Okay, 
very very tiny uh, tiny spot let me also increase this so so you can see it okay like this okay let's keep it like this So in this, I'll show you detailed photos of the final, final laser beam spot, but uh, it's pretty hard to see, but it looks like a very, very tiny spot. Let me show you um, how it's working with G2 lens. Yeah, it's almost a focal range, probably like 2-3 millimeters from the surface. It's very, very, very uh, short, short focus. So I can actually turn on maximum power and you see that acrylic starts burning. It burns really, really quickly with a very, very small spot. Okay. And let me show you what we have inside our optical system. So like I said, this is our new laser lens system. So you can remove G2 lens and also insert um, regular three element lens. But let me show you inside inside the semi-cylindrical lens. Okay, you can see it inside here. So it's very, very powerful uh, lens, so you can focus quite heavily and decrease fast access into a square like I showed. The problem is that you need to position and to fix it tightly and you need to position it very accurately just the same place where laser diode uh, actually a crystal is. So you need to position the uh, crystal, uh, laser crystal to a laser lens just on the same on the same parallel. Then you'll get this, uh, this square. So that was just my uh, presentation of a new laser lens system. We are going to make some measurements and show you some images and give you uh, numbers of the uh, laser beam spot but we estimate that the size will be closer to 50 microns so it will be like uh, two or maybe three times smaller than, than uh, the, the original so it will a enable a very high uh, and efficient engraving and very accurate, a very, very accurate laser cutting. So hope that you like this video. Please share it with your friends and don't hesitate and ask questions if you have about optics and about laser lens. So for more information, we'll post on our Facebook or Facebook group endurance lasers and will also write a blog on endurancelasers.com website so stay tuned and have wonderful experience with endurance lasers bye bye